Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAD 2023, slot 1 DILR says that there are 5 restaurants, R1 through R5. They give integer ratings to 5 gig workers, Ullas, Vasu, Vaman, Zeven and Yusuf on a scale of 1 to 5. The means of the ratings given by these 5 restaurants are also given to us. Mean rating. Mean means average. So there are 5 restaurants and there are 5 workers. So we will multiply 5 to give the total rating. The summary statistics of these ratings for the 5 workers are given below. So there are 5 workers. Okay. The mean rating is given. Mean means average. Average you multiply by 5. So that will give you the total. What is median rating? Median is the central value. When you have... Like let's say you have values A, B, C, D in ascending order. So median rating means the central value that is the value of C. Then modal rating. Modal rating means highest frequency. Highest frequency means let us say the ratings given are A, B, C, D and D. So D has come two times. So it has the highest frequency, whichever is appearing the maximum number of times. Like for Yusuf, 1 and 4 will appear the maximum number of times. For Vasu, 4 will appear the maximum number of times and so on. Range of rating, right? Range is basically maximum minus minimum. That is range. Okay, so these are defined. Median is the central value. Modal is the highest frequency. Range is max minus minimum. So based on this data, we need to find out who gave what rating to which person and some more information is given to us. So we will make a table like uh, of these uh, restaurants and these five people. So we can, we have directly multiplied by five. Let us say Ullas, the average is 2.2. So into five will give us 11. 3.8 into five will give us 19 and so on. So uh, worker wise rating and similarly we have given restaurant wise totals. So restaurant wise 17, 11, 19, 14 and 17. Right. So these are the information. Now we are given statements A and B. Using statements A and B we will fill the values. Now R1 awarded a rating of 5 to woman. So R1 gives woman 5 as did R2 to Xavier. So R2 gives 5 to Xavier. R3 to woman. So R3 gives 5 to woman. And Xavier also he gives 5 rating. And R5 to Vasu. R5 gives 5 rating to Vasu. Okay. So this is what we get for uh, 5 rating. And then R1 awarded rating of 1 to Ullas. As did R2 to Vaman and Yusuf. R2, Vaman and Yusuf, one rating. And R3 to Yusuf. R3 gives Yusuf a rating of one. Okay, so this is the data which we have put into the table. Now, what we will need to do is, using this mean, median, mode, we will find out the range of ratings. So, we will go person by person. So, Ullas... The total is 11, right? 1 is already given. So we need to put 10, right? And median rating is 2. So Ullas, we will have 5 ratings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Median is 2, right? One of the ratings is given as 1. That is done. Modal rating is 2. So 2 should appear maximum times. Range of rating is 3. Range means maximum and minimum difference. So maximum will be 4, right? So Ullas, total 7 is 10. 4 needs to be done. So we will put 2 and 2. Right. So this satisfies all the conditions. Median rating is 2. Modal is 2. Appearing 3 times. Range of rating is 3. Right. So for Ullas, these are the ratings. Similarly, for Vasu, we will fill. Vasu, one of the ratings given is 5. And his range is 3. So minimum he will get as 2. Modal rating is 4. And uh, median is also 4. So this is 4. So we have got 9 plus 2, 11. 
he needs to get a total of 90 so 4 and 4 are remaining for passing okay so likewise we will do for the other three candidates as well w we have common as uh, one of the ratings that is known to us is one another rating is five and another is five so three ratings are already known to us we need to put six more and woman the uh, the modal rating is five and median is four so median is four that means four here so we have 14 15 and hence we will need two more then let's write for xavier and uh, yusuf also so xavier the total is 18 and we know that two people have given the rating of 5. So 5, 5 are done, right? And then median is 4. So we will put 4. So 14 points are done. Range of rating is 4. So maximum is 5, minimum will be 1. So we have 10, 14, 15 and hence 3 in the missing value. And then similarly, Yusuf, we will find the 5 ratings. For Yusuf, we know two of the ratings are 1. His median rating is 3. And we are given that modal rating is 4. Modal rating means he should have maximum times 4 and 1. So, 1 has appearing 2 times, 4 will also appear 2 times. And if you add the total, that is 8, 11 and 13, which is matching with his average also. So, this basic calculation we had to do for all people. Now, we know the uh, ratings of these people. We need to fill data such that these numbers are balanced. We need to balance these numbers. Now, R3 has to give a total of 8 more ratings to Ullas and Vasu. Now, if you see Ullas and Vasu, we can give only 4 and 4 because 5 and 3 is not possible. So, R3 will give 4 and 4 to Ullas and Vasu. So, 1, 4 is 1. We will knock off the numbers that have been used. Right. So, uh, 1 has been used, 4 has been used and in Vasu, 1, 4 has been used, a 5 has been used. Similarly, Vaman, 5, 1, 5 have been used and Xavier, 2, 5s have been used and Yusuf, the 2, 1s have been used. So, this is how we will keep filling the table. Right. So, R2, if you look at, has given a total of 7 points thus far. So, R2 needs to give a total of 4 points for Ullas and Vasu. Now, Ullas and Vasu, 4 points can happen only with the 2 and 2. Because if you give 4 to one of the candidates, 0 is not possible. So, Ullas and Vasu, again, 2 and 2 points. So, 2 and 2 gone. Right. Anyway, for Ullas, the remaining points are 2 only. So, we will write these as 2 and 2. So, Ullas is done. Now, we are left with uh, Vasu. Vasu, the remaining values are 4 and 4. So, Vasu also we can put 4 and 4. Okay, we will get the values. Now, if you look at R1, giving ratings to Xavier and Yusuf. So, this is 9 and 10. Total of 7 is left. Total of 7 can be formed using 3 and 4 because we have 3, 4 or 4, 3. So, we have 3 or 4 coming in these two places. Okay. Now, if we look at uh, the remaining values, these 3 should add to 8 and these 3 should add to 10. Right. Now, 10 and 8. Uh, the values are for W, X and Y. Now, 10, uh, the values possible are 4 is maximum possible. If you look at X and Y, the values uh, that they are receiving is 1, 3, 4, 3, 4, 4 and 2, 4. So, for 10, the possibility can be, we think of the possibilities. So, if you give uh, 3 at 4, right? So, 1, 3 and 4, we need... Uh, see this thing 1 3 and 4 have to be blocked for r1 so for x the remaining values are 1 or x and y combined the values are one of the values is 3 1 and 3 and 4 and 4 because one one of the threes 
and one of the fours is blocked so it can be either way round so the remaining values are 1 3 4 4 and for w the remaining values are 2 and 4 so using these we need to make 8 and 10 so 10 we can only form with 4 4 2 okay 4 4 2 and 8 we can form with 1 3 4 1 3 4 will give us 8 and 4 4 2 will give us 10 now woman is the only person out of them who is receiving two points so woman will receive this two points and the others will receive four and four points so this is done woman is also done now xavier is the only person who is receiving one point so xavier will receive one point and then we are left with three and four so now we can add these totals so this is uh, 11 13 and 4 Hence, this value is going to be 3. So, 3 here. Now, 3 and 4 are left. 4 will come here and 3 will come here. So, let us just add these and see if all are matching. So, this is 8, 13 and 5, 18. This total is matching. 4, 4, 8 and 5, 13. This total is matching. 11, 6, 17. This is uh, 14 plus 5, 19 and 7 plus 4 11 so all these totals are matching similarly these totals would also match so this is what we needed to do in this it was like data given in the two formats it might have appeared difficult to people but actually it was not because small numbers were involved it was just about knowing the meanings of these things like what is mean what is median what is mode and what is range and just plotting a table like this how many individual ratings cannot be determined from the above information? So we can determine all information. So the answer is zero. So how many workers did R2 give a rating of four? So R2 never gave a rating of four. So the answer is zero. What rating did R1 give to Xavier? So R1 gave a rating of three to Xavier. What is the median of the ratings given by R3 to the five workers? So R3, if we see, the ratings are 4, 4, 5, 5, 1. So arrange them in one particular order. 1, 4, 4, 5, 5. So the median rating is 4. Which among the following restaurants gave its median rating to exactly one of the workers? So what we will have to find, we need to find the median rating and find how many workers it gave median rating to. So here we have 1, 3 and 4. So the median is 4. Count in ascending order. 1, 1, 2. So median is 2. 1, 4 and 4. So median is 4. Here we have 1, 2, 3. Median is 3. And 2, 2, 4. So median is 4. And we will have to see how many people it gave median rating. So, 4 rating is given to 2 people. 2 rating is given to 2 people. Then, rating of 4 is given to 2 people. Rating of 3 is given to only 1 person. And rating of 4 is given to 2 people. So, the answer to this question is R4 who gave median rating to only one of the workers. So, this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.